Museum to know up in Sequitel, Quitzemolt, and Stomochna. Hello everyone, my ancestral name is Quitzemolt, and it's a name put on me by my family elders. My great grandmother actually recorded her wishes in the 1960s, and it's uh, from the Joseph family, it's Squamish Nation. Uh, so my English name is Willard um, Buddy Joseph. I'm also the elder in residence at the Vancouver Art Gallery, started in February of 2021. That picture, when we look at it, the lady has a shaped forehead. And that's something our Squamish Bill did as well. And um, it's for people that are held in high regard. But she also reminds me of um, my great-great-grandmother, almost the hair and the color and the shape of her face. I also knew my Great grandmother, so I had knew three of them as a young man, and um, that photograph reminds me of them. You know, their grace and their standing in their power. You know, they they lived well into their nineties and over hundred years old, and so that's what I see when I look at the photograph of our our indigenous uh, women. And, you know, we had a matriarchal society um, with the. Indian Act and policies, attempts to forcibly switch to patriarchy. Now our council was all men for a time, but it's slowly shifting back. You know, the women are the knowledge keepers. You know, so these are the, that this is all tied into that photograph. You know, I never got to meet my great great grandmother. You know, she was born in the 1830s and passed away in the 19 early 1940s. Actually. So these are the ones that are carrying knowledge into the future, despite the Indian Act, despite racism, despite residential school. And, um, you know, thanks to them that, you know, we have what we have in our, in, our, in our communities, language, customs, culture, spirituality would be the four that come to my mind. And so that's what she reminds me of, is that strength that she has. So for me, when we can, you know, connect with all these pieces, we start putting things back together. You know, masks and see our people lived. The ancestors, all those decades, stood up for themselves, stood up for the future generations. And um, I think it's coming to fruition now with reconciliation. It's just not by chance. You know, it's uh, amazing. When we get to see the photographs and the art, um, the carvings, whatever there is archived, it's, it's got to come back out, if not repatriated to us, and we can put, put it to work. <laughs> because a lot of the things were utilitarian, you know, rattles, and masks, and, you know, everything. It was our worldview that these things are alive and came to us you know, the people that would be able to do it maybe, uh, from the other side. So we actually never lose touch. You know, those keys, we still have them.